Greetings, greetings, greetings and salutations one and all. Welcome, 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 welcome to the night shift. Happy hump day to you. It is Wednesday night. Well, where I am, it's Wednesday night. So it's happy hump night. Yeah, I'd like to say it's happy hump night. <laughs> yeah, if tonight is your night, <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> Take that any which way you choose. I want to welcome you to the Night Shift to DJ Kevin Stew. Glad to have you. Those tuning in on TuneIn Radio, the Night Shift to DJ Kevin Stew, Rotterbox.net, any other Rotterbox affiliates globally. Welcome, 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 welcome to the show. Glad to have you. Couldn't do it without you. And trust and believe, I wouldn't even want to try. Of course, big ups to those who have it locked on PEMG TV and the home of the Night Shift, KevinStew.com. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. Couldn't do it without you. Wouldn't want to try and wouldn't even start to think about it. When you have a fetch in calendar and your monkey bills over the woods and your backside dust for soca, every night is the avenue. You think it starts. Hey, oh, nah, nah. It's on this is how we're gonna start it. When you're listening to the radio and your soca playlist increase, you just start to organize costume because you start. Yeah, the thing starts. The thing it starts. Hey, oh, la, la. See, the thing it starts. It starts. And everyone trying to win the party, we bet it all day. We don't jump up all night. We don't sound a feeling. The party really plays by the now. See, the thing it starts. And we jump up, jump up, start to jump up. See, the thing it starts. I put your hands up, hands up. I want to say thank you to Paul Z Media Group for sponsoring this segment of the show. When being in the moment is priceless. We're going to give them a link. 754-999-6020 is the number to call. And when you call them, call my name. Tell them DJ Kevin Stew sent you. Whether you're capturing a moment just for your own purposes or you want to stream it or you want to do something like this that you're watching right here on kevinstew.com you can get these services and many more let's get them a call Hey, hashtag happy, how you doing? Hey. Uh, you ready for the thing start? Mm, nay, nay, nay. When you have a calendar, and your monkey bills over you, and your backside dust, I hope you covered all your bases. The thing it starts. Hey. Oh,
Yeah, you can sell that I feel a little bit of a vibe. Oi, 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 oi. It's happy spot. We jam it from dusk till dawn with the hot and spicy song. Oi, 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 oi. Tell King Son, we come. She mentioned shenanigans. Mash up the dog, tell J.A. We here again. Lift your leg up in the air. Lift your leg up, lift your leg up, lift your leg up. Lift your leg up, lift your leg up, lift your leg up. Lift your leg up, wine, wine, wine. If you want to party, lift your leg up, wine, wine, wine. If you wine and wash it, lift your leg up, lift your leg up, lift your leg up. Okay, just this one more. Nine minutes after the hour. Okay. Last one. We got a Drew. It's called 90 degrees, 90 degrees. 773 Yeah, that one. 773 Stop multitasking. Okay, hashtag happy. It's time to sit down. I want to say happy birthday to what, what, Wild Gilbert. No, not happy birthday. Happy anniversary. <laughs> the stories come out kind of happy, but the moment itself, kind of scary. I should know I survived Hurricane Gilbert in Jamaica. I remember walking out into my living room and hearing squish, squish, squish. We had carpet. Notice, had passed it. And Gilbert passed through, live off the roof. Half of the roof of the house. God. Walked out in the living room, looked up and saw the sky. That was an experience. Alright, so 
there are other experiences that 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 people have and uh, these experiences <laughs> are uh, some of them fun some of them not so much fun last week we started talking about meeting someone how men should approach women and so it was geared mostly towards how men really should approach women not looking at all at the women's side but you know you oh you see again that's what happens when you're multitasking you know um thank you very much I'll, I'll I'll fix that right away. But it gives me some time to uh, do some other little things right here behind the scenes. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm sorry. There we go. Ah, here I am. <laughs> uh, I was just checking to see if y'all were watching, you know, or how many of you were watching. So, again, it's healthy love. No, it's not. It's real talk. <laughs> Again, the multitasking. Jeez. All right. So I'm going to take a minute. I was enjoying the soca music a little bit too much just now. So tonight we're talking about connecting on social media. Last week we were talking about how a man should approach a woman when meeting for the first time. And tonight we're talking about connecting on social media. 773-789-STEW. 773-789-7839 gets you in touch. Um, thank you for that message. Thank you for the heads up that you couldn't see me. I got that fixed. Now everybody should be happy. Um, <laughs> actually, I was wiggling and you did miss it. <laughs> I are sorry. Tonight, we're moving away from the gender-specific approach where men are supposed to approach women a certain way because you know, in our society that's what we expect we expect men to approach women however with the playing field being leveled out somewhat losing things here with the playing field being leveled out there are other things that are happening and people are connecting in different ways. And we're going to hear some stories. And these are real stories. These are true stories. And I think important stories for people coming up. Actually, no. This is for anybody who is trying to connect via, via social media. We're looking at connecting on social media and how to approach someone. Whether you're interested in them for romantic reasons, well, you don't know them, so you don't know if, you, if you'd be romantic or not. But whether you see them and you're physically attracted to them or you know about them and you just want to connect, whatever it is. But let's jump in. Now, not long ago, online dating was... Uh, Embarrassing. And implied concession that you'd be, you'd exhausted all your options among your friends and the friends of your friends and the children of your parents' friends. So all your options. Nothing works out, right? Nowadays, the proliferation of apps uh, your dating apps, whatever they are, <laughs> that, that, that the myriad of them, they have made mainstream, even in countries like the UK and Australia and New Zealand, where there is really no established culture of dating. How exactly they do they do it, I'm not too sure. It's like, I don't know if... It was the way that Jamaica had adopted it. When I was growing up in Jamaica, um, you met someone, 
And if you liked each other, then you're in a relationship. Or as we would say, you're dead. <laughs> Though, don't kill me. Don't crucify me. Don't point your finger and laugh at me. Okay, you can do the last one. But when I was young, and I hear people talking about them day, I was like, okay, they're where? They're what? I had no clue that they're saying we're involved or I'm involved with this person. No, uh, them day. <laughs> so, for those of you who are new to Patois, they mean we're in a relationship. Okay? All right. So, for <laughs> as it relates to social media connecting, there are these apps often boil down to things relating to technophobia or moralizing over casual sex, when in fact, they actually help people date outside of their immediate circle. If you've ever been in a group setting and realized, with no small horror at all, that everyone present is either your ex or a friend of your ex, then you'll attest to online dating not being a bad thing. Because some circles only get yay big. And yay is really small. Now, the algori algorithms employed by more formal online services do a lot of the groundwork of establishing compatibility. Preempting deal breakers by asking, should gay marriage be legal? And does living on a sailboat sound like a good idea? So let's take out some of the guesswork. As someone who grew up on a sailboat, the person who put together this information was in favor of every safeguard to prevent them from rel reliving such a ex dating experience. But outside of dating online, plat online dating platforms, it is easy to register and solicit romantic interests on the internet. Easy. And there's a dance that one performs on social media to turn a platonic friendship or acquaintance or internet friend into something more. And it's, it's some of those dance moves that we plan to look at tonight. Now, remember this. If you're really putting yourself out there, you could comment on an individual's picture with a heart emoji. Um, there are some people that when they have a crush on someone, they want to let them know. And they go on their page and like a lot of their pictures. And they do them in a row. You know, one after the other. In quick succession. Now, I don't know if that borderline stalking. But um, that could end up being a little bit creepy. The main way you're going to know is when they say, hey, how many whys they put, they put in there, hey, could also be an indicator of something being up, some kind of connection wanting to be made. So let's look real quick at <laughs> how you should talk to women on social media. And I want to start with this one because we moved out of <laughs> Hey 
I wonder if that's how it really comes across happy. <laughs> but I wanna talk I want to start with this one because as soon as you start talking about interacting on social media, you immediately go to the man reaching out to the woman. Because again, that's how society dictates we're supposed to connect. Man is supposed to reach out to woman and say hey, how are you? Let's talk. But what of the women who want to connect to the man and think that the man is taking too long? We'll get there. So the first rule of trying to talk to women on social media. Guys, leave your genitalia out of it. Now, there's nothing that is more likely to get you shut down than mentioning how turned on you are by someone's pics. It is not flattering, gentlemen. It's not validating, and believe it or not, it isn't wanted. Now, ladies, you can let me know if this is true as I go along by signaling in the chat room, kevinstew.com, you'll see... Yes, I haven't changed the name yet from TNS Chat to the stew pot. But you'll see TNS Chat. Just go ahead and comment in the box. You can change your name if you so desire or leave it anonymous. No problem. KevinStew.com. Go to the chat. Comment. Simple. Or you can call. Be bold. 773-789-STEW. 773-789-7839. If... We are connected only on social media, like on Facebook. Then, no big deal. Call me using Messenger. I'll take those calls too. Alright? Okay. So, it is not flattering. They don't want it. If you're not someone with someone who already has flirting privileges... Hmm. And you're hearing about this now. You almost certainly don't. Right? And she doesn't care how she makes your... Well, she doesn't care how she makes your genitalia feel or she doesn't make care how you feel about how you think she feels about it. Even when you leave out the online equivalent to catcalling, making sexual or even overly flirty comments to someone you don't know is going to be uncomfortable. And it will be unwelcomed at most. So they're not going to be down, bottom line. Not cool, don't do it. And this includes pictures that are clearly intended to be sexy. Whether they were taken professionally or for fun, it applies to those too. So, <laughs> take those things into consideration. Now, this is a young lady talking. And she says, um, listen... Here's an example of someone she knows, a friend, and among her many jobs, a dating coach and professional model. She takes pride in her sexuality and enjoys posting pics where she feels she looks hot. And case in point, she shared a picture on social media. You have major flirting skills, 16. I should call you M16. <laughs> um, could you just go ahead and demonstrate some of those flirting skills, if you don't mind? You were the one that put it out there, so I'm calling it out. Go ahead and demonstrate some of those flirting skills for me, please. You could call and do it, or you can do it in the chat room. Let's see how skilled you are. Let me get those flirting skills. In the chat room. Give me an example. 
I don't know if you're a male or a female. Give me an example. Now, if you're a male and I can read your text and go, oh, okay, then you might be pretty good at it. And if you're a female, well, hey. <laughs> or better yet, see if you can impress happy. <laughs> Now, going back to the picture. Um, so, the picture shows someone in a bathtub. Here's the thing about the picture. The, it only shows one shoulder. A piece of a shoulder, I should say. Um, and a piece of a forearm. But you can tell that the person is in the bathtub. And it shows their face. Or more stuff. So, okay, cool. Now, it isn't a very sexy picture. It's about a relaxing bath. And as far as pics go, this isn't racy at all. Looking at it, it's like, uh, uh, alright. But there are always people who are going to mistake showing some skin for an inv in invitation always now to be fair <laughs> the comment that was 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 put on <laughs> the picture one comment i should say was got room for more and the response of course was no now this comment isn't actually fairly mild as things go however the issue isn't whether he asked her if she would sleep with him or not. It implied it. So it becomes the entitlement. And that seems to be something that goes around pretty often. Now comments like this carry a presumption of intimacy that doesn't actually exist. You are making the assumption that you already have a relationship that allows you to say certain things. No. That entitled attitude is quite unattractive. And it's a warning sign. So even a mild comment like that is going to make people uncomfortable. And it will either kill the idea of them becoming a friend right there in their tracks or it will really slow it down. However, when the pictures are overtly sexual, most people are not going to want to hear about your genitalia. Even if it's sexual, if it's a real sexual picture. A woman who posts a pinup isn't an in, isn't inviting you to talk about how you would destroy them in bed any more than someone posing with a dog isn't inviting you to say your dog is cute right or <laughs> your dog is cute um i'm sure you have something cuter mm -mm. It doesn't matter whether that cosplayer dressed like Harley Quinn or Rukio Matoy looks like she's a deep breath away from violating Facebook's terms of conduct. Nor does it matter that this friend or a friend posted a picture of herself in a bikini or this person wants you to follow them on Instagram in a party outfit with deep cleavage. They don't want you to be telling them about how turned on you are looking at their pictures. Guys, they don't. Hashtag happy says, no one ever wants unsolicited pictures or descriptions of your genitalia. Ever. So, at what point does it become solicited? 16, I notice you're quiet. You know how to use one what? <laughs> um, 
I'm still waiting for you to impress me with your 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 flirting skills, sixteen. So here's a question. Is she then showing off her body for attention? Maybe she is. But who cares? You're the one giving the attention. So clearly it worked if that is what she's going for. Now complaining that someone does something for attention, whether it's a selfie, skimpy cosplay, or wearing a swimsuit while streaming games on some social media site, it's almost always about absolving yourself from getting caught looking. Let he with two free hands cast the first stone. If you want to talk to women and actually have them respond, don't show your genitalia or be one, gentlemen. Simple as that. Basically, if you keep it simple, you might get a dimple. You know, if she has dimples, she might smile. We're going to take a quick little break. And we'll come back, we'll talk some more. And we're going to look a little bit at how to compliment a woman about something other than her boobs on social media. You down for it? I'm down for it. Guys, make sure you have your pen and paper, please. Because you're going to need to take some notes. I know some ladies who are very turned off by gentlemen reaching out to them. And I expect to hear at least one story tonight. So... We'll be right back after a couple of messages, and we're going to continue. 773-789, Stu gets you in touch. Come on over. Let's chat. Go to kevinstu.com if you're listening on TuneIn, and join in the chat, in the chat room. 16, I'm waiting for you to flirt. Male or female, this is a social experiment. Go ahead, flirt. Let's see, let's see your game. Whether you do it in the chat room or you, you, you text the number, 773 Stew. Let's see what you got. We'll be right back. It's easy. Just call us. 754-999-6020. Become a host today and place a TV monitor in a strategic location so it's easy to see. Get a one-minute video ad or longer that plays anywhere in our network. Can't be a host? No problem. For a few dollars, we'll run your 30-second video ad. A host can run announcement specials like buy one get one free or discount ads. Let's turn your flyers into a 30 second video with music or a voiceover or let us create and run your video ad with a spokesperson. Take advantage of our early enrollment discount. Join us today. Your ad will be seen at least 30 times per day in your AdShare TV neighborhood. It's easy. Just call us 754-999-6020. AdShare TV, part of Pulse Media Group. Music and Grave Lounge presents ISM, Mr. Vegas Album Release Party, Saturday, September 15 at Crave Lounge, 4519 North Pine Island Road, Sunrise, Florida, ISM, Mr. Vegas, 20 years of hits, featuring Renaissance Disco, DJ Wizard, hosted by TC Flex and Jody and Gray, for info, 954-740-3258, that's 954-740-3258, thanks Mr.
Matthew 28:19 says, "Go ye therefore and teach all nations." With this in mind, and encouragement received during a South Florida media conference, the Church Links was birthed. The Church Links is an interdenominational worship service portal for churches, providing the tools to spread the word through technology in a cost-effective way. The Church Links www.dahchurchlinx.com Your links to worship and praise. I want to apologize for the musically yours ad. I just realized that you guys weren't hearing anything from that ad. So let me see if I can fix that real quick and play it for you one more time. XPM featuring some of Jamaica's best. The inimitable Car Creative Connections presents Musically Yours, an evening with music among friends. Sunday, September 30, at the Polish American Club, 935 Rock Island Road, North Lauderdale, 33068. Doors open at 5 p.m. Showtime, 6 p.m. Featuring some of Jamaica's best. The inimitable Karen Smith, the sweet Carol Reed, the consummate entertainer, Harold Davis. Engaging readings from Tiffany Robinson, the versatile Rory Ball, and the amazing Andre Shepard. Music by DJ Capone. Hosted by Sir Rockwell and Dr. Sue. Admission $40. More at the door. $60 limited VIP. Tickets available at eventbrite.com or call 954-627-4354. Sponsors, Simply T Fashions, Zuri Collection, Rocktabox.net, The Lady Song Show, RDB Events, Bailey Memorial Funeral and Cremation, and Rosen and Orr Attorneys. Musically yours. Hi, this is Cara Manti, and you're listening to DJ Kevin Stew, and this is The Night Shift. Yeah, it's one of those times when strange things are happening inside the studio. This segment is brought to you courtesy of the GMAC Music Solutions Company. Providing you with sound, lighting and stage production services, musical equipment, PA systems, audio engineers and bands, DJs, musicians, singers. They can make your live event live. Be my morning star. Come to GMAC Music Solution 754-307-GMAC. 754-307-4622. Or GMAC Music Solutions.com. It's on a Jess Agenda. A track called Queen of the Morning Star. Check out these lyrics. Guess 16 is flexing muscles. I know how to use an M16. My morning star, come to love and not to war. You don't want to show me yours? I'm thinking about you, honey. Then you see my <laughs> repertoire, though intimately bear so much scars. You're encoding that hashtag happy. It's pure <laughs> and true.
so much cars I love is pure and true Give you loving on a Monday More loving on a Tuesday Most loving on a Wednesday On a Thursday On a Friday I take you out on a Saturday In the park Sipping veggie Sunday Veggie Sunday. I'm yet to have one of those. I want one of my Rasta friends, so go ahead and introduce that to me. My morning star. Come to love and not to war. Lately, I'm thinking about you, honey. Then you see, I repertoire. So intimately bear so much scars I love is pure and true Woman I saw your heart, now watch where them a chat Ride with the naughty, ride non-stop Empress your push, some say you're black In a high life you sounded like a granite rock Wine non-stop, now watch your stop clock Long skirt, long frock, short skirt, how are that? You happy place like you only open for the rasp Ball tail, ball head, can't be a doormat Rock with light tonight, girl, in a mirror Please, squeeze, in a the wine with the girl Heat, melt the freeze, all sunshine, girl You are my lover Can you be my morning star? Alright, the zone of Jesse Agenda, Queen of the Morning Star. So, alright, here is where we are at now. <laughs> Keeping the umbrella, huh? <laughs> Ah, boy. Marlon, welcome to the show, bro. Uh, Marlon closed out his show, Real Rockers, which happens on a Monday and Wednesday, just before my show, with um, Remembrance of Hurricane Gilbert. And um, that song that you played before, The Love In There. Can I tell you, I have never heard that song. And I was in Jamaica when Gilbert happened, so I heard everything after that. You still can't see me happy? Go ahead, refresh your screen, because as far as I know, I am up. So you refresh your screen and see what happens, because you must be the only person that can't see me. I can see me. Anybody else can't see me? Let me know, please. Uh, refresh it again. I, I don't know why you can't see me. Anyway, um, how to compliment a woman on social media? Now, paying someone a sincere compliment is... Oh, you see me now? It, it helped that you opened your eyes? <laughs> uh, you, you were looking at me with your mind's eye before, right? All right, so paying someone a sim sincere compliment is a regular part of flirting. Regular. Cool. And who doesn't like to hear that they're enchanting or that they're the only cactus in your garden? Okay. Maybe not so much that. But you get the idea. However, most men go straight for complimenting a woman's looks. <laughs> I, I am hashtag happy. Uh, nine times out of ten, complimenting a woman's looks is a mistake. Now, under the best of circumstances, complimenting someone's looks is both boring and unoriginal. You're almost never the first person to suggest that maybe she could be a model or how great her legs or her boobs look. 
you're not the first. You probably won't be the last. How about you just be different? So understand that things like you're hot, even that, lame. Okay. GQS 16? Or is that guest with variation? Wait. Okay. So I am being summoned. And I answer the call. The call came, I answered. Where was that Good ringing place. coming from? I was, I, was, I was hearing ringing somewhere. It sounded strange. All right, so good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening. Um, <laughs> can you see me now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if, if you're calling me when I'm talking about compliments, that means that something is up. Now, I know that something is up because we've had a conversation about something being up. And I did ask you to contribute to this show, considering that you contributed to last week's show. <laughs> and because of your contribution, I am doing this week's show. So anybody want to blame anybody for this week's show? Here is the person on the line. Blame them. No. As a matter of fact, you can also call and blame them. 773-789. Stu, <laughs> call and blame them. All right. So. Well, not alone because Marlon is here as well. <laughs> oh, well, actually, Marlon is a part of this too. Yes. So. Yes. Uh, you, 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 uh, well, Marlon told his story last night, um, last week. Marlon did tell... One of his stories, I should say. One of. So Marlon is a part of this too. So blame Marlon also. Call and blame both of them. <laughs> so saying that you're hot is lame, offensive, and just shows no imagination or creativity. Or even confidence. No. Is that what you get from it too? Somebody sends exactly. you a message. Um, oh, you look so hot in this picture. Does that do less for you than that's an amazing dress you're wearing in this picture? Which one does I more for you? The compliment for the dress would work better. Um, but just to say you're amazing, uh, the, the physical thing. You start by saying hello. That's always a good place to start. Just say hello. Oh. I thought the compliment came after the hello. Usually not. What? What do you mean? Usually not. <laughs> Usually it starts right there. So the message comes in from a total stranger saying hello okay I was starting with hello my bad I, I usually start yeah. off that way it starts out with my goodness you're hot that's how the message starts that's how along interaction along that line I would say yeah along that line it's usually not as uh, tame or as simple as that. What? Uh, I've seen some interesting messages. <laughs> not an interesting good. I'm not saying that at all. It's not interesting good. It's just people need to learn that that's not the way to approach a woman. <sighs> if you plan on going any further, I would say you think that's not just not the way to do it. <laughs> okay. Um, Hey, KDN. Uh, or M16 in the chat room says, I'm not hot. Oh, sorry. I know I'm hot. Is it hot? That's what happens when you take off your glasses. I know I'm hot. <laughs> I don't need anyone to tell me. Okay. So, 
if you're already, if you're an attractive woman, you know you're an attractive woman. That's basically what you're saying, right? So Ooh. that yeah. that compliment is kind of a moot. All right, not I get it. always, not always. But to say you're hot, you know, it's like yeah, that's that's kind of yeah. You don't need to do that because if you if you look if you're looking hot, you're feeling hot. Okay. You already know. So you need a fun. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> if you if you live in South Florida or Texas, it gets pretty hot. Yeah. Uh, so w- you don't want to be told you're hot. You'd prefer to hear that you presented yourself well. Oh, how about you're beautiful? But isn't that just like saying you're hot? Wait, wait, no, hold on, not. hold on. So no, if you're not. hot, you know you're hot. But if you're beautiful, you want to be told? Sure. Hot and beautiful are two different things. Beautiful, beauty is inside out. And if someone can recognize your inner beauty, that's great. If they, think, if they recognize your outer beauty, it's great. It's nice to call it beauty. But I don't know you yet. Sexual with the whole thing. Hot is, is leaned toward the sexual portion of it. But Beauty is more innocent. Okay. I would not call someone beautiful unless I know them. And it's different from me because I've been doing shows like this where I've been looking deeper and I've been having conversations about certain words being used um, to, to people. So I don't use certain words all willy-nilly. If I know you, I will call you beautiful. And that's because mm-hmm. of what exactly what you said. It's... Beauty is not just what you see on the outside, which is what you see coming from the inside out. It speaks to the character. It speaks to the personality. All that. So it's more all-encompassing than the physical appearance. Mm -hmm. Cool. So... Do you really want to call a stranger a hot? Do, 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 you, do, 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 I don't think a woman really wants to hear a stranger say, you're hot. Because you're going somewhere with that. And, you, and you're making it quite clear where you want to go with that. And that's what I don't know. You, know, you, don't start, like, you don't start there. I'm the kind of guy who will walk past someone looking quote-unquote hot and tell them, oh, you know, <laughs> you're looking kind of hot. And we'll just walk away and never think twice about it. But lie. I lie. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I used to be the kind of guy that would use the word hot. Again, because I do this show and I've become more cognizant about using certain words, I probably would not go with your hot. Thank attractive. You. I would That's go with attractive. And I would the world appreciates you for that. I w- I would say to someone that I don't know, a stranger, that you're looking quite attractive and just move right along. Because for me the compliment is exactly that and nothing more. I don't want anything from you. I just feel like I should tell you, just in case nobody else tells you today, you're looking quite attractive and I depending on where I am and if it is someone that I have seen before or would continuously see in that same space I wouldn't necessarily use attractive because for me now that is saying okay there's an interest there for something else so I, I would try to keep it as simple as possible and say something along the lines of I love your outfit that you're wearing today. And it's kind of, it could be taken kind of backhanded because I'd, if I see you 
fairly often. That would mean that all the other times that I've seen you, you weren't putting yourself together too well. <laughs> so... <laughs> you didn't waste too much to do something like that. I mean, people... It, just because someone gives you a compliment doesn't mean one day. Doesn't mean if you look bad every other day to that person. Okay, great. As long as a woman says that and the thought is that other women think that same way, cool, I'm good, I will use that. Well, that's how I think. I mean, I mean, I, well, when I leave the house, I'm hoping that I look good and I'm going to go with that. I do and, and walk as if I do look good. Um, and so a lot of that is just in my confidence. I don't have to rely on somebody else to, to validate me mm -hmm. in that. My mirror will do that for me. Thanks very much. I know that sounds vain, but um, it, it, otherwise I'd be totally insecure all day long. <laughs> and, okay. Waiting for someone to compliment me, you know, and if I didn't get a compliment, I feel bad that I didn't look that I didn't look good. Uh, is, so I have to look good for me. Is that really vain or is that confident? I, I'd say it's more confident. It's, it's, it's something they come off as vain, uh, but I'd say it's more confident. I think that is being confident because if you're not telling yourself that you look good and you're waiting for someone to, to tell you, then just like you said, you're going to be erring on the side of insecure. So it starts with self. Um, exactly. I did the show on affirmations. Tell yourself and, and let you hear yourself say it. I look good. As a matter of fact, go tell him, damn, I look good. And walk out yeah. the door with that confidence. 16 says, if a man is dressed in a nice suit and looking very GQ, I'll say, you're looking very distinguished. Who is your tailor? Oh, And you do it while looking them straight in the eyes. Okay, that's something else that's again. I like it. <laughs> That is something else again, because you're going to... I like it. I like it 16. Do the thing. Do the thing. Oh, hold like on. It. Hold on, because Kadian is over there dying. <laughs> it's, it's a fine line, but confidence, Marlon says, the w saying that you look good. I, and I'll take that. Let's go back to 16, looking the man straight in the eye and saying, you look very GQ. Who is your tailor? All right. Here's how my brain works. My suit looks good. And you want to know where I got my suit so you can put it on someone that you know. <laughs> but Sikini's not looking at the suit. That's the difference. So I and don't, I don't feel complimented at that point. I feel that I made a good choice on my suit. It has nothing to do with my looks. That's, so, Even if they're looking you in the eye? Sorry? Even if they're looking you in the eye? Because 16 is not looking at your suit. 16 is looking in your eyes. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, I'll, all right. <laughs> you, 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 you two must decide that you're going to uh, team up on me or something. Okay, fine. Marlon, help. Jeez. <laughs> you have to know how to read it. You know, that's all that really is. Like if, if someone looking at, you, looking at me in my eye and complimenting my clothes, and that look, they're, not, they're no longer looking at my clothes. Mm -hmm. Then the compliment is elsewhere. Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that. It's a door. Walk through. <laughs> okay. Okay. So... All right. Now you've said that. <laughs> and it, it, it's kind of straying away from the, the social media interaction. And we'll go we'll back go to back it. Here. We'll go back we'll to the go back to Yeah, we'll go back to the social media interaction. But I like this. I like this because this was kind of missing from last week's. So, woman walks up to man, looks man in the eye and says, your suit is very dapper. Where did you get it? That is opening a door for communication because of the eye contact. That's what you're saying, right? 
<clears throat> Guy walks up to a woman and does the very same thing. Mm-hmm. I I wonder if the conversation will continue. I wonder if they will see it as an open door in the very same way and not see it as okay, so my dress enhances my boobs or it enhances my hips or it enhances my derriere or it's short enough to show my legs. He is really looking at my legs and is that the way, as far as I know, that's the way women typically think. But that's not what goes through your mind if someone looks you in the eye and tells you that your dress is slamming. Your, your dress is yeah. great. If he's, looking in my, if he's looking me in my eye, and he's talking about my dress. Yeah. Then he's respected me enough to not look at my boobs, look at my derriere, look at my legs. Okay. He's looking at my eyes. He's making eye contact, which is pretty bold anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And so you can go ahead and take, you know, that, that captures the attention. And so you have an opportunity for a conversation. Now, if you're looking at my boobs and saying, I like that dress, you know, you're not looking at my dress, you're looking at my boobs. Mm. <laughs> okay. Um, going back to the social media thing. They say giving a compliment about a woman's looks online tends to carry the unspoken. So be grateful. A pen to the end. Many guys treat women's attractiveness as something being done for or at them. Complimenting her becomes less about praise and more about giving their approval. Hmm. The other thing about complimenting a woman's looks is that you're signaling that you really don't know anything about her that isn't all surface. Most attractive people put a significant amount of work into looking good. Pause. Pause. I know some attractive people that can put very little effort into looking good. They just get up, throw on, I don't know, uh, um, sweats, and they're looking good. So, big ups to all my attractive friends out there, male and female big ups to you and I have no problem telling a guy that they're, they're looking attractive none at all because I'm quite confident in my sexuality bruh you're looking very dapper yes sir when I grow up I want to dress just like you <laughs> I have no problems doing it I'm not going to say those words to a female but you get oh, the picture <laughs> <laughs> no judgment here, no judgment. <laughs> so, complimenting someone's looks is complimenting the end result, but without noting the effort it took. Now, if you want to compliment someone on social media and stand out from the crowd, compliment her on her choices her looks and and sorry and not her looks so you look that was a nice choice of that was a nice color that comp, that color complements you well how about something like that does that work that works but that would mean that there's the observation beyond the outfit it implies that you're looking beyond the outfit to say that the color complements. Yeah. But still, that is acceptable because the focus is on the color. Yeah. Okay. So. Well, if you pay attention to it, you, know, you look past just the outfit itself and look at, okay, that color looks good against your skin. Uh, it's a great color. And people put thought into their clothing. And then they have chosen it because of that particular color. 
And the fact that somebody notices that is great. Okay. I want to take a moment and recognize our sponsors for this segment of the show, JTMC Enterprises. Big ups to you. Thank you very much. And to... <laughs> Operative word, grow up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you caught that, right? <laughs> um, I also want to do a quick reminder. Coming this Saturday at Crave Nightclub in Sunrise... The celebrating 20 years of being in the music business, Mr. Vegas does a celebration with the ISM album launch. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that. All right, so moving on. Some other, as a matter of fact, let me leave this. Since I have you on the line, and if anybody else wants to join in, feel free. 773-789-7839. That includes you, Marlon. <laughs> and 16, you don't have to be shy. All right. So what would you say are some of your biggest turnoffs when being approached on so social media? Uh, well, let's go with the instant messages, the, the direct messages, the DMs, the inbox, mm. the messenger, especially on Facebook, the messenger. Okay. Uh, uh, most of the time, that is first point of contact for many. Mm -hmm. And then that by itself can be a turnoff, especially if you're posting things and they have no other interaction with you other than going directly to your inbox. Um not liking a post or not commenting on the post itself, but keeping everything very backdoor, hidden, private kind of thing. And the first thing is they say to you is, you look like love, I need you. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. is, that, is, that a, 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 is that an actual message? That is an actual message. You look like love, I need you. First contact. <laughs> I wonder if that has ever worked for them. <laughs> I do too. I, I really, I mean, I, I have, some of the things that I have gotten, um, I really wonder, did that, did that ever get over anywhere at any given time on, on somebody? That was an adult. Because the things that I, that I hear, and the things, well, excuse me, the things that I read, um, and some, some of the messages that I get is just beyond me as, the, as coming from an adult to an adult. Mind you, a mature adult at that, well, age-wise anyway, because this may possibly have worked when I was 18, 19 years old, possibly, mm. depending on my confidence level that day, you know. <laughs> but as far as like being over 40, I can't see this working on anybody you know or you know it just <laughs> I think the best thought out line that I have gotten and I have to say this the best thought out line mm -hmm. that I have gotten which was still not working was some but to me from somebody over 40 and I have to read it to you okay it says the new Miss America is a great-looking queen in the highest level of African beauty, but she still can't match your beauty. Ooh. 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 Um. Now, to a guy, that may sound impressive because he thought it through. <laughs> Ooh. It, sound, it may sound good, <laughs> but it really does not impress somebody that's over 40. <laughs> no, I, wait, hold up. This guy took time out to recognize that the new Miss America is a work of... A great-looking queen. A, a great-looking queen. In the highest level of African beauty. Oh, Lord have mercy. But she still can't match your beauty. 
And that's not impressive? Why is that not impressive? No, it's not. Because it sounds like, one, it's a line. And it sounds so much like a line. It's just a line. And as we discussed last week, comparison is always bad. <laughs> but he's not comparing you to an ex. Yes, it's exactly what he's doing. That's not an he's ex, though. To Miss America. Uh, she isn't an ex. Now, it is, it doesn't matter if it's an ex or not. You compare it to somebody, anybody else, period. I mean, really, compare it to not all. Like, I feel more confident now because you compared me to Miss America as opposed to comparing me to the girl down the street. What? <laughs> or to an ex? Okay. A woman is a woman. Okay. <laughs> 16. 16. 16. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> 16? Marlon, 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 Marlon. You, come on, Marlon. Give me something, Marlon. Give me something. Uh, 16 says, men are colorblind. They don't really know what color complements anything. Listen, I would like for you to know, although I stick with primary colors as all the colors <laughs> in, in, in my crayon box, I know that if you have a bright smile, and a dark skin tone, bright colors should complement you well. I'm just saying. I could be wrong, but hey. <laughs> you don't want to, to keep everything with dark colors. Although, ladies, I think each and every one of you should have a little black dress. At <laughs> least one. Mm-hmm. I'll compliment the dress. I'll leave you out of it. <laughs> Easy. Good word. Cheesy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Seriously, 16? Uh. Okay, so... he. Th- what, what about the effort that he put into putting that line together? That makes nothing. Does, it's, it's, it doesn't get an E for effort? Nothing. Not even an E for nothing. effort? The whole idea that it's a line at all gets you an F. Oh, jeez, boy. Dude, all I can say, it was a guy, right? Of course. This time, yeah, it was a guy. Okay. <laughs> all I can say is... <laughs> See, okay, even Marlon thinks it's, uh, it's impressive. Although he says he would not use it, he, he says it's impressive. I think that line is impressive. Again, as I said, other guys would think it was an impressive line. The fact of it, the matter is still, it's a line. It's a line, it's a line, it's a line. <sighs> okay. Lines so. don't work. Okay, so don't come using lines. But there are a bunch of things that could be said that would seem like lines. Yeah, there's a lot of lines out there. (laughs) Because, all right, you do your hashtag happy. Mm -hmm. And if someone comes on and says, reaches out to you, sends you a message and says, you know, because of your happy today, I have been smiling all evening. You really brighten my day. Thank you. That's not a line? Okay. Depends on who sent it. And it, 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 there's a genuineness to some people saying that. Now, I, I do get those. Okay. I do get those. But how, do you know, how do you know which one is a line and which one isn't? Uh, the approach. Is there anything prior to that happening? Is, there, is that the first thing that you're saying? It's the first time they're seeing a happy. Or the first time they're commenting. Maybe, Maybe it's not the first time they're seeing it. They've seen it a few times. But the first time they're commenting. 
if that is the first time you're commenting again, the first thing you should say is, hello. <laughs> <laughs> And and then we start a conversation. Here, <laughs> but, um, here we go with this hello thing again. <laughs> look, <laughs> that's how you begin something. You know, conversation. Uh, even when you answer your phone, you start off with hello. <laughs> so, when the regardless of who's calling, right? You still say hello. And so uh, with something like that, uh, I guess I would say that um, it, again, it depends on the genuineness of it. And you can kind of, in a sense, you can feel it out. But actually, the, the next thing that they say would be more relevant as far as, as far as me g- gauging that, if they meant it, if that was just their way to so that could make a line of it, uh, would be based upon the next part of their conversation. Because I can simply say, thank you, I'm glad you were blessed. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and I'll leave it there. If they care, if they decide to carry it further, you know, it's it's with, well with anything that's a compliment, you just you know, of course, I'm, I'm going to say thank you if it's a compliment, regardless of how it comes. Unless okay. you're just ridiculous, I'm going to ignore you completely, like that, like the Miss America thing. I ignore that. You know, you just, <laughs> it's just, it's just <laughs> yes, that's not a compliment. It's a comparison. Again, there's a difference. Okay, so. Uh, all right, let's 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 role play this a little bit. So, okay. that is my opening greeting, and you say you're glad I, I was blessed. Now, if I come with something along the lines of, is this something that you do all the time for a living, or is it just something you do? to share does that go along with my initial line my initial greeting as something innocent yes i follow that with you could have you could still have different intentions but you'll get further with that uh than to just say you're beautiful at that point and i really want to get to know you better or some of the other Strange things that I have heard. What? But um, let me continue the role play then. Let me continue the role play. So I say that, and then I follow that up with, "Okay, can we meet and you share some of those with me?" No. At that point, you are teetering on being blocked. <laughs> but I I I I came in so innocent and everything was so well put together. Everything was above board. Everything was just right. How does were, that now put me in the block zone? Statement. You. There were two statements. The first one was yes. Um. I. I'm. You made me very. You made me smile. If you're happy, whatever along that line. Yes. Right. Thank you. Next one is, do you do this for a living, or do you just do this for your for fun? And I respond. If your next statement is, "Can we meet?" That's just creepy. We're three. You are two sentences in, and you want me to meet you somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, can we talk some more about it? That's better. Just talk. Just, just no. It's not. It's not. <laughs> If you're having a conversation, why would you ask to have a conversation? Just thank you. <laughs> and uh, the, you see, I ask that question because I think this is where a lot of guys fall short. They really do. They, they, they're do, doing just what you're saying. Yeah. They're ignoring the obvious. Uh, did I get a message here? I think I may have gotten a message. Um, okay, thank you for tuning in. I just got a tuning in message. All right. Um, send some feedback. I'd, 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 we're taking all all comers. Let's let's get some <laughs> feedback. Um, <laughs> you know me too well. Um, so. 
guys, don't, don't, don't go. Basically, what she's saying here is don't do the obvious. <laughs> don't ask to co- ask to have a conversation if you're having a conversation. Continue the conversation. Right, Marlon agrees. Yeah. Well, of course, Marlon agrees. Marlon, Marlon's a gentleman. He's not just a guy. He's a gentleman. He is. Yes. Marlon is that kind of that that individual, that gentleman that will take off his coat and lay it down for you to walk over a puddle. That, that's Mar- well, no, Marlon will just carry you over the puddle. <laughs> <laughs> he works out. He'll just carry you over the puddle. <laughs> but you know, what else do guys do that that? Are, you would say are a big no no. Again, mainly it's the line. Um, it's, it's for me because I have the, the the I guess the difference of being uh, people seeing me online without me knowing them or meeting them or whatever um, in person. Yeah, and they have conversations with me online that way through the um, through the live videos. Mm-hmm. Um, for someone to come into my inbox or my DM and ask, was that you in the video? <laughs> oh, wow. No. Mm-mm. Say it ain't so. <laughs> was that you in the video? I'm smitten by you. Seriously, we have nothing else to say. Wow. You're in my inbox. You wow. just watched the video. Why would why would you think that wasn't me? <laughs> no, guys, no, no. <laughs> I I can't even pull something out of that. There's nothing that I can work with with that. Nothing, absolutely, positively, nothing. I'm a guy, and I'm left with nothing. <laughs> And you know it's it's really bad when I emphasize the G. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Sixteen says, Who are you kidding? They fall short in other areas. Seriously? <laughs> That's not what we're talking about tonight, sixteen. <laughs> <sighs> Boy. You see? It is a judgment free zone and you know. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> Sixty. Or 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 there's more. There's more. Oh. Uh I've gotten the um uh, hey sweetness. Okay. Message. That's the first message, first contact says, Hey sweetness. And within ten minutes within ten minutes, video mm. call. Wait, so after his sweetness comes a video call? Yes. Almost immediately it came. Like the message came through, they saw I saw the message, they knew I was online, and they video called. I didn't even respond. I didn't even get a chance to respond. <laughs> um, okay. So what's the rule with video calls? <laughs> <laughs> or what's your rule? What's your rule? I, I, I don't know that there's calls. a rule for that. I, I, I'm not big on video calling uh, personally, uh, unless I know you. Unless I know you, um, I it, it would take some getting to know you first before that happens. Uh, because you know, you, I always have the option. It's not the first time I've gotten a call and I've rejected it. Uh, you always have the option of turning that down, but uh, as far as the guy reaching out, he, he should feel comfortable with the conversation if he thinks he's going to work, if he thinks he's going to pick up, um, that's on him. Uh, I guess it's to him, it's like a, more like a go for it kind of a thing. All she can do is reject the call. Uh, for her, um, if she's so comfortable taking the call, then that's an individual preference. If you feel comfortable taking the call and you want to have that in lieu of a face-to-face conversation with a person, uh, that's on you. But to I don't I don't I don't think it's appropriate to jump right in there like that because again it's like 
I didn't give you my phone number. <laughs> you know, and so if we, we need to have a conversation at any given time. So why would you think it's okay to video call me? But a call. See, here it is. No, no honestly. <laughs> Marlon is saying, I see the same behavior from women. See, yeah, that's right. Again, Marlon, that's correct. If, you don't, if I don't know you personally, don't video call me. That's inviting yourself into my home. It's my little private space there. Mm. <laughs> so, all right. 16 says it's a pickup line. Um, hey, sweetness. The hey, sweetness is a pickup line. So, terms yeah, of endearment. <laughs> terms of endearment as introductions don't work for you. No. Okay. You know, and even and honestly, what also does not work for me, it may work for some others, but it doesn't work for me, is for someone to abbreviate my name. Ooh. And they don't know me. Ooh. <laughs> you know, it, 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 it's like, you know, it's, it's especially for me, um, because my nickname is can it's male or female. Mm. Male. And so for someone to... Uh, start a conversation with, hey, Mel, um, you don't know me. <laughs> you don't know if I like that name or not. You know, I don't, you don't know if that's okay with me or not. So I don't think it's appropriate to start a conversation with somebody and just automatically just hand them a nickname when you know their full name. That's just, to me, that's just rude. So if you end up all on a post and other people refer to you as Mel, and they come behind and say Mel also. Is that okay? Initial conversation, you should address the person by their name, not by their nickname. Mm. I don't care how many other people you see saying it, if, if I say it, or, or say is it okay if I call you that. Because it could be okay for my sum up for someone else and not okay for you. Okay. It may not be okay for a stranger. Whether you know and, and you don't know how or or it could be a tease and you don't know because you don't know who you don't know the person at all. Like I could be fat, you call me slim and it's okay and and I'm you know, you're teasing me, but then somebody else turns around and say, Hey slim and it's like, Okay, what are you trying to say? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know that, that's the version of it, but you know, it's it's it, it's still if you don't know a person, you really shouldn't be abbreviating their, their name in the first conversation because I, you know, it's like even for a guy, um, I had a friend named, uh, in, for example, uh, named William, mm -hmm. and he he hated being called Bill. Mm. And he didn't want anybody calling him Bill. He'd rather he be called Willie. If he if you're going to use the nickname, then use Willie or okay. Will, but don't use Bill. And it was very it was very sensitive to him. And so, for terms of, and I would see how he would respond when people would say, "Hey, you know, when they just meet him and say, "Hey, can I call you Bill?" And he's like, "No," or you know, if, if, if they if they bothered to ask, mm -hmm. and if they didn't right. ask and they called him Bill. He would cringe, you know, and I would see that because again, because it was a personal thing. You don't right. know what you don't know how that is. Now with me, it could be like you know, only my only my family calls me Mel. That's not the case, but it could be something like that where only my family calls me Mel. I want everybody else to use my full name. Right. So if you come, if you approach me and you're trying to, to get to know me, and your first thing you come up with is Hey Mel, uh, no. You know my, you, you see my full name. My full name is on, but on the on the profile. It's on my page. My by my full name. Uh, you, you in Messenger it shows the first name, so you see that as my first name. And so again, spelling makes a difference too. Yes. If you see it spelled a certain way, it's right in front of you on on <laughs> Messenger. Do not misspell my name. I I, I have <laughs> seen that, and and I have just shook my head sometimes and just cracked up laughing other times <laughs> and i'm like do they not see this <laughs> yeah you know i i guess that too often 
But I know at the same time, because my name is also a word, that I, I will give people benefit of the doubt for autocorrect. Okay. Well, you know, However. You're a better person than I. <laughs> However, I still think that you should make an effort to fix it. <laughs> you know? It only goes through when you press enter, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Um, but amongst the things that I say, you know, I mean, and I know I've given plenty for you for tonight. So, so far as they don't do this, the don't do don't. You don't. know what? <laughs> I'm fine with the don'ts because it's it 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 gives the opportunity to think about what it is that you're doing on an approach. So, gentlemen, don't think that what she is saying only applies to her. Um, M- oh, see, I was calling her M16. <laughs> I, I, maybe I probably should. But 16 in the chat room is is saying, is very much in agreement with a, a lot of the things that is being said right here. You know, I, and so it can't be just her. So take to heart any woman that you're reaching out to on social media if you're interested in them or not address them by their name that you see ask permission to contact them otherwise as in to to call and you don't want the first call to be a video call so if you want to talk and not text, ask for permission. Do, does that work for you? Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So ask for permission. Um, for more reasons than one. You never quite know what they're doing at the time. or if, So they may be able to text but not talk. And you're not just taking it upon yourself to dictate what they are going to do because I don't think that will work out in your favor as a newbie in their life. Somehow I get the impression that it will not work. I'm just saying I could be wrong, but helpful. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wrong before. That's why I say I could be wrong. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm not always right, although I think I'm right most of the time. I'm not always right. So don't go, don't lead with terms of endearment, guys, gentlemen. And I use that. Do not under any circumstances flirt with me on social media. Why not, 16? Why not? And... Flirt how? Because giving a compliment could easily be considered flirting. And if you take a picture and post it on social media and you're looking good and they tell you that the outfit you're wearing. <laughs> if I see you on social media and you're wearing a nice looking dress and I say, yo, that dress really looks nice. In my head, that could be flirting, and in your head, that could be a compliment, or vice versa. Yeah. <laughs> I could be very innocent with saying that, and you take it as flirting. So when you say, do not, under any circumstances, flirt with me on social media, um, would you prefer to flirt in person? You know, at, at what point... How how would you want to be approached on social media, sixteen? You know, that's that's kind of where I'm going with this. Because I would think any compliment given to anybody could be considered flirting by the receiver. I look good in the way I presented myself. And you told me that that outfit looks good. I could say, 
Okay, <laughs> here it is. Someone is eyeing me. Let me go over here and see if she wants a drink. Oh, so you'll ignore the comments and not respond. So you, you are told that the outfit looks great or you look great in that outfit. Oh, two different things, right? That's two different things, right, Mel? Uh, you look great in the outfit or the outfit looks great. Um, it's close. It's close. Oh, so you want your flirting in person? I would think so. For, for 16, um, I, I would think that because the world is made smaller by the Internet, in a sense, uh, and by through social media, um, that it's hard. It, you know, it, it, everybody, it, it is your choice. By all means, it's your choice. But to um, it's coming on social media because we put it out there like that. Mm -hmm. If you put it put yourself out there like that, if you don't want anybody to flirt with you, and uh, I don't, I, I would, I'm, I got to say this the right way. Uh, it, it, it's kind of hard to differentiate these days because with, with that, I mean, a compliment can be, you know, it's a compliment. And like you said, Kevin, you know, you don't know whether, you know, it can be construed as a flirt or it can just simply be a compliment. Right. Uh, and to receive it only in person, if it's, it's, it's either way, you know, you can't always tell even in person that the person says the same thing, whether it's a compliment or it's a flirt. Mm -hmm. You can't always tell uh, right off the bat because you don't know the person. You really can't always tell it. And so, you know, it, it's good to be open to compliment. You know, you, you, have the, you do have the option of ignoring and not responding to it either way. Uh, that is an option that you have. But um, it, it, it doesn't hurt to say thank you either way because it could simply be a compliment and not a right. flirt. You know, I, I have been accused of flirting on a number of occasions. And I'm like, huh? Flirting with who? Because I complimented an outfit. And here it is. Just as I'm saying that, um, Marlon is saying, I really don't compliment women that I don't know personally much because oftentimes a genuine compliment is mistaken for flirting. This is exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> I've been friend zoned when I was just <laughs> given a compliment. <laughs> but you know something that's really interesting that I'm finding that is to, it's the take on the whole thing. Mm. In reverse, it goes completely opposite. A woman could compliment a man on his outfit, and you'll see it as flirting, and she's just complimenting him. And you'll see that as, oh, she wants me. <laughs> you know? Where, uh, you know, and, and, he, and I guess that's why women take it that way, because men may not intend it that way, but mm -hmm. that's how they get it. But when they receive it, that's exactly how they receive it. Oh, she wants me. <laughs> but no, I was just offering you a compliment. I just liked the outfit. <laughs> well, you know, it what? wasn't going anywhere. Maybe you know, I just liked the outfit. Maybe that's because that's how men really intend it. They really intend it to go somewhere when they give a compliment. Maybe. Oh, so no compliment. No, there are no. What you're saying is that there are no innocent compliments. There are no compliments from men. I'm not saying that, but You're I'm saying that it, it could be that that is just it. Um, I think <laughs> I had to, because really and truly, earlier in my life, I didn't really give a compliment unless I thought it could get me somewhere. As I matured, I recognized that Sometimes you just need to give a compliment because somebody looks good and walk away. And if you're not interested, just give a compliment and walk away. I have learned to just do that. But earlier in my life, I wasn't taught to differentiate how to appreciate someone putting themselves together. And when I started working, I my thoughts as it related 
the compliment started changing. And there were some ladies on one of the floors in the building. I worked on the second floor, some ladies on the sixth floor. I would see them and I always thought that this was just a good looking group of ladies. And I told them and they thought I was trying to get with them. And I kind of had to be insulting and say, <laughs> um, no. Otherwise, from you putting yourself together, well, that's about it. I'm sorry. And just walked away and left them. These ladies ended up becoming some of my closest friends in this building. <laughs> But I kind of had to explain to them that that's not my intention first. So, <laughs> it, it could be how we're wired in society. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I don't mm -hmm. know. And it, it's even more challenging because there are more interactions because of social media. There are more right. interactions than our personal ones uh, on, on social media than there are, you know, in, than there are in person. Uh, because people tend to not talk anymore, <laughs> you know, they tend to do more stuff online, and, um, I, I don't know why medium. 16 is trying to put me out there like that, 16 is saying, um, <laughs> uh, I just got the message here, <laughs> uh, um, 16 is saying you always want something. You, as in me, DJ Kevin Stu, is that what you're saying, 16? Seriously? <laughs> but it, it, it could be just really and truly how we have been socialized. Um, guys don't give compliments unless they're looking for something from a woman. They don't give women compliments unless they're looking for something. They don't compliment men. Because they'll think that they're gay. And gone is the idea that you could just be appreciative of the way someone looks. How well they put themselves together. It's just gone. <laughs> I wonder if we can bring it back. Social experiment time. Let's see if we can bring it back. I, I, well, women don't have their problem as much. You guys have their problem. Women, I compliment women all the time. You know, and it, it's, especially the ones that I know. But I will tell a woman that, you know, I will compliment a woman on her shoes, and she'll see it as a compliment on her shoes. I will compliment her on her dress, and she'll see it as a compliment on her dress. So um, you've never given a woman a compliment, and her response is like, y you want to go out for lunch? kind of a deal not saying that she would invite well, you out for lunch but you're, you're saying you've never complimented a woman and no i'm not saying that not, no i'm not i'm okay. not saying that she was because there are women out there that were already interested okay and uh and they, they saw that as maybe mutual interest mm -hmm. and it wasn't but i guess in the same way that a guy would it's no different if he's if he's interested and he gets a compliment from a woman, then and he thinks maybe there's something there's going to be something more to it, then you know, right? He'll try for that. And again, as I've said before, you know, women after women are just the same as guys after women. It's no real, it's no real difference there. There is no real difference there. Okay, so what will happen is next week we're going to feature how women should approach men on social media. And Marlon, <laughs> yes, Marlon, I'm talking yes, to Marlon. you because you have been approached. On, I, I don't know what I am not doing or what I am doing, but nobody approaches me on social media. I don't get those. I don't get messages in my inbox. I don't get emails. I put. I don't get text messages. I don't get anything. I put my phone number out there. I put for you to call, for you to text, I put my email out there. So, nothing. <laughs> so, I, I, there's little to nothing that I can contribute to next week's show. So, Marlon, 
being um, <laughs> Mr. Link me on social media over here. Um, I'm gonna need for you to do what Melody did tonight. <laughs> So the table's turned next week, and we're gonna. We're, the idea was to do half and half tonight. Yes, you've been volunteered, sir. Um, <laughs> you should know it. by now <laughs> that, yeah, that's that's you're gonna have to just take this one for the team, bro. I I I need you to be here with me next Wednesday. To talk about <laughs> uh, to 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 talk about how to be approached, how a woman should approach a man on social media, and um, well, I guess we can blend it with how a man should approach a man in general. Because we're in that time and age where that happens. Women approach men also. Is it that men are more welcoming? I don't know. <laughs> we're more flexible. We're more easygoing. I... <sighs> There's someone who's secretly blocking you. <laughs> so, someone is blocking all my messages, 16? Come on. I, I, mm, I, I don't think so. Th there has to be someone out there who has thought, okay, let me message Kevin Stew and tell him that he has a great voice. Or... He is really cute and his eyes sparkle. But <laughs> um, I'm, I'm putting it out there in the universe. I feel left out. <laughs> that, that's what it boils down to. I feel left out. <laughs> Somebody inbox the man. <laughs> yeah, Marlon, how about how not to approach a man in, in, on soci in society? Cool. Fine. Yes. I'll, I'll, because that's pretty much what, what Melody did tonight. How not to approach a woman. So let's do how not to approach a man. And Marlon will be our guest next week. Yes, because he was supposed to call tonight. But since he did not, Marlon, we will give you the night next <laughs> week. I know I'm taking this all the time. <laughs> well, you know, g hey, ladies first. You got it. You ran with it. You did an excellent job. I thank you very much. Um, I couldn't have You're done it well, without so you. Thanks for the opportunity. <laughs> I, I don't know why 16 decided to just stay there and hide in the wings, but it's well, cool. We appreciate 16's participation. We really do. <laughs> I do anyway. <laughs> right. You know, I'll, I'll take 16's participation. I, I, I accept it. Not everybody is comfortable calling. I get it. Some people just want to just text. Cool. I get it. Um, but next week, we're going to flip the script a little bit. And we're going to look at how to not approach men on social media. My lips look very juicy. I thank you. Wait, there you go. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, you can see my lips. I just had to look on the, the, the monitor just now to see if you can see my lips past the mic. Oh, so my lips look juicy. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> and the week after, it will be, it will be the house to accept a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> how, how to accept compliments yes, your outside producer <laughs> <laughs> and Melody will be back for that one <laughs> it's very easy just say thank you <laughs> my eyes sparkle wait wait you can't be giving me back the very same things that I just asked for you can't you just ask for them why not not the very same things that I asked for though but that's what you asked for you know what? You say when you want someone to tell you that your eyes sparkle. 
So 16 tells you that your eyes closing. Seven minutes to the top of the hour. We have a very <laughs> limited musical therapy tonight, and I need it. Uh, we're going to kick it off a little bit. Uh, Frank, Frankie, be good. Yeah, that's what we're going to kick off with. Thank you very much, Melody. I really appreciate love you. Um, Marlon, 16. Wait, so who's guest 498? Huh. 498 has been very silent. 498 <laughs> has been a stalker kind of a thing. Welcome, 498. We appreciate <laughs> you. Uh, I'm playing, 498. <laughs> I'm playing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... Next week, how not to approach men. We did how not to approach women tonight. How not to approach men. I would love to run that. But run, run. You. Oh, that should be Rob. The N and the B beside each other on the keyboard, right? Yes, they are. I would love to rub that bald head. Oh. 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 Right Again, right. how not to get across. <laughs> oh, jeez. <sighs> but my time is up. Have a great night, DJ. Thank you again. Five minutes. I only have five <laughs> minutes for musical therapy. I don't know what I'm going to do now. <sighs> All right. Here we go. Kicking it off with thank you very much, Melody. All right. Um, Frankie, be good. You are the only one. Yo, my virgin, Brian. How's my girlfriend gonna leave me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to her, you know. Marlon, that is the question. Just get right up so we do give me the chance. We really need to talk. I promise to love you that only after dark. You were the only one for me. She are the only one for me. For me. Then you walked away and it hurts me so. You know, Marlon, she is good at this flirting thing. My heart felt like it would explode. You get a pass mark, 16. and kissing and such and such. Without you in my life, is like me life in a road. Can't believe me, they love you so much. Girl, me no know what I want. Can't even sleep, my nerves not too calm. I have a feeling you're a rule, but me still can't perform. Can't stop a talent to me getting at me, I'm calm. You were the only one for me. She had the only one. Then you walked away, and it hurts me so. I'm gonna bounce out this week. I wanna thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for your participation. It's on a King Charles. It's called Juice. I wanna encourage you to be good, be nice to someone. Does that count? <laughs> Does that count, <laughs> Melody? <laughs> Just got a thank you video from someone whose friend request I accepted. Where does 
that fall in the grand scheme of things. Is that also a no-no? Alright, so real quick, I encourage you to look out for someone in your community and your community is not just the development that you live in but it spreads far and wide. So those that you pass on the bus, on the plane, on the boat, on the train, when they walk, ride or drive, these are members of your community. Take care, help them out when you can because you never know who's going to look out for you and help you out. My name is DJ Kevin Stewart, so I like to do it to you, for you, and with you. Catch you on Monday when we do it all over again. Community and finance. As usual, be good. But if you can't be good, be good at it. I'm out. Not really, but giving you the intro. Bingy Blaze. So I touch her in the morning, touch her in the evening. Good loving from the Rasta man, she receive it. Liar, Empress, I me know she no deceiving. She a blaze, movie is fast. Consider the ability to share that moment. If you can video it, you can broadcast it. And Pulse e Media Group has the tools you need. Weddings, birthdays, funerals, graduations, church services, parties, seminars, you name it. Pulse e Media Group can provide you with a secure medium controlled by you to broadcast your event. Contact us at www.pulseemediagroup.com for more information. Pulse Media Group, when being in the moment is priceless.